morning friends happy tuesday today is the 28th i believe sounds about right of april and we're gonna do a card a reading and some yoga today so i'm getting three my circles are very slow but that's two and that's three Hope you all are doing well, especially considering the fact we have a repeating card, which means this energy is not over. And it's a good repeating card. We're back to Wheel of Fortune. Um, does this mean we're going to repeat the pose? I'm not sure yet. I guess we'll find out in a few minutes. But let's go back over at least the keywords because apparently the message hasn't stuck yet. And um, we got some good stuff that we need to. We need to hear. I was wondering when a repeat would come up. Okay, so again, the Wheel of Fortune. Optimism, success, change in fortune, new beginnings, perseverance, chance. What here could be, okay, maybe we're not understanding stability amidst change. Maybe we're not in a point where we feel super optimistic given what's going on in the world and maybe we're really on the down slope of life but remember it's a wheel it's, it's not a hill so if you feel down inertia is just gonna whip you back up this hopeful card this is a hopeful card that asks you not to become discouraged when faced with adversity it is a natural part of life and it will pass I mean, it's very straightforward. Have a look at the imagery again. It's cameras over here. It's a good card. There is a lot of luck and positivity headed your way. Mm. I'm just staring at it, processing it. Part of my just blank face blankness. But yes. So, given it is the same message, pretty close back to back, you can do the same pose. However, if you're just not feeling bridge or wheel, we're still going to get a heart opening shape because we're at the top of the wheel and I want the chest to represent that. Mm. Colors. So... Maybe not blues this time. Focus on heart colors, uh, pinks, greens, clear quartz. I didn't get the crystals ready. Uh, let's see what else. Maybe even a strawberry quartz. Well, that's amethyst, but if you have strawberry quartz or a necklace like that. Definitely purples. I think really bright, positive colors, like this little trifecta in quartz. Really focus on colors that are going to remind you to open your heart to accepting this message, this positivity, to be open to experiencing the good that is coming back around. Yeah, so things that resonate with your heart. So maybe not even any of these particular colors I'm holding here. What resonates with you? What works with you? What is going to help you when you look at it? See the color, see the stone is going to make you think wheel of fortune, optimism, uh, tides are turning, stability amidst change. Connect that, connect whatever that may be to yourself in this message. What else do I have over here? Yeah. Those ones are good. Or just wear more blue. You can't go wrong with blue. Blue is a gosh darn good color. I think blue is my favorite color. Okay, so I do have a different pose in mind. I'm going to find a Sanskrit for it now. Actually. Yes. I had a different pose in mind, but then I realized we'd be like the bottom slope 
of the wheel and that's not where I want us to be though we could be that and remind ourselves as we lift up we're coming back around no first instinct best instinct that's what's ha gonna happen here so we're doing bow pose today or Dan Yorasana Dan Yorasana Dan Yorasana yes and I will give you some modifications for it so meet me in an open space and we'll go ahead and do this thing that not that anyone's even here so we're starting prone and again I recommend warm-up so the warm-ups you can do for this pose are locust pose where you lay completely flat you can press your palms into the mat as you lift your chest holding here for a couple of deep breaths then potentially lift your feet and then maybe even lift the fingers and coming down doing that a few times. Another option for lifting the chest is Sphinx Pose, where you stack elbow and shoulder in one line, planting the forearms firmly, lifting the chest here. Legs are flat on the mat. And you hold this for about five or so breaths and then come down. So this is my funky modification to help you prepare for bow pose if it's really not your favorite, if you can't get a lot of lift with the chest. So you start in sphinx pose. And we're gonna start with the left side or the right side. So really press into your left forearm and you're gonna bend your right knee. Then taking that right arm, you're gonna send it back to find your toes, your ankles, wherever you can grab. Square your shoulders back towards the mat. Gently kick into your hand it's going to lift the chest up. You're not going to really get the thigh off the floor too much, but that's not what we're focusing on here. And we hold this for a few deep breaths. Good. One more. Perfect. Release that. Return to Sphinx Pose. If you feel any extra tension in your back, you can just come all the way down and rest for a moment. Windshield wipe the legs side to side. Listen to your body, see how that feels. And especially if you're trying to rush into this not warmed up, which you should warm up. <laughs> you definitely wanna take your time going through this and maybe not as fast as I do it in this video. So returning to Sphinx Pose again, we'll take the opposite side, press down in the right hand as you bend the left knee, send the left arm behind to find that foot, square your shoulders up, you don't even have to kick into your hand. This is a pretty intense stretch. It really gets into the chest and the shoulders. But if you want to keep it going, you just gently kick into that foot and hold here. Let's take three more. Good. After that last exhale, release the foot, return to Sphinx, come all the way down. And windshield wipe. You can just wiggle your hips side to side. Listen to your body, see how you feel. We're going to get ready for full boat, which you can take it not in the deepest expression to start. But I ask that while you are holding this and you are breathing, think of the message of wheel pose or the wheel of fortune. <laughs> Or you can think of wheel pose while you do this too. It's your life. You do you. <laughs> but as your chest lifts, your heart opens up. Accept that positivity that's in the universe. Accept that in this pose, you feel stable. You feel strong. This might be a bit of a change for you, but you're able to handle this. And this will reflect what is going on in your life off the mat. Okay. So we're starting completely flat here. Arms can be to your sides. Bend the knees and send those hands towards your feet or your ankles. And you want to be on the outsides, not on the insides. Insides just feel funky. So definitely the outsides. Prepare yourself here. Take a breath or two. And then on that next inhale, you're going to start lifting the chest at the same time, kicking into the feet. Holding here and breathing deeply. Three more deep breaths. You can do this. 
Do you with every inhale, you find a little bit more lift. Last breath. Beautiful. Lower all the way down before releasing the legs. Then release. And listen to your body. Maybe stillness is what you need right now. Maybe you need some movement. Just take a moment. Yeah. You can go ahead and do that again, holding it for five breaths. If that felt super duper intense to you, go back to the Sphinx variation. But mostly just listen to your body. If none of that feels great, you can do bridge pose and wheel pose, which was from a couple of days ago. So hone in on yourself and what you need and just be careful. So yes, we did Dan or Dan Yorosana bow pose today for wheel pose or wheel of fortune, which is our reoccurring message today. So this energy is still around. It is still asking you to be open to taking it and just enjoying it and living by it. Colors, Really anything that's going to channel in your heart today. I believe so. So yes, Wheel of Fortune, Bow Pose, or Bridge Pose, or Wheel Pose. You have some options. Go ahead and take some time now to practice if you weren't practicing along or extending your practice. And just think of this card, think of the imagery, think of the message. You're at the top of the wheel. And if you don't feel like you are, open yourself up to it because you're swinging back around. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.